An efficiently winding automatic mechanism is critical for ensuring the power reserve of an automatic watch. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to function check the efficiency of the reversers of the automatic module. This check is performed after the individual parts have been disassembled, cleaned, reassembled, and properly lubricated. Our examples today will be both the 2892 and 2824 two bi-directional winding calibers with separable automatic modules. To perform this function check, a piece of brass from a bristle brush is used. Brass is not as likely to scratch or damage the wheel as an oiler would be and it will also allow for maximum deflection, ensuring a good indicator of freedom of the wheels. This is a properly serviced 2824 automatic module. The inshakes and divisions have been verified and the train has been cleaned and properly lubricated. When applying pressure to the ratchet driving wheel in the winding direction, both reversers slip without significant resistance. This check must be performed with the oscillating pinion installed so that both reversers are forced to slip. This is a 2824 automatic module that has not been properly serviced. When applying pressure to the ratchet driving wheel in the winding direction, both reversers slip but with a lot of resistance. Note the deflection of the brass bristle. This additional resistance can be felt during manual winding and will cause winding efficiency problems on the customer's wrist. When the reversers are damaged, dirty, or poorly lubricated, their internal resistance works against each other. While one reverser is trying to drive the ratchet driving wheel, the other reverser is not free and has to be forced to slip. This generates an inefficient mechanism that will likely result in the watch failing for the customer. This is a properly serviced 2892 automatic module. Due to the thinness and lower mass of the rotor on this model, extra care must be given to ensure proper freedom of the automatic train. Although this caliber only contains one reverser, the operating principle is the same. When applying pressure to the ratchet driving wheel in the winding direction, the reverser slips without significant resistance. Note that the brass bristle does not deflect. In this improperly serviced 2892 automatic module, notice the amount of deflection of the brass bristle. It has so much resistance due to the reverser dragging that it almost does not slip utilizing this function check. When properly serviced, the oscillating weight should freely rotate in both directions with minimum angular deflection. You should also feel the reverser's freedom when the watch is manually wound. Any resistance in the automatic train will be felt as an additional resistance to manual winding. When placed flat on the bench top, the oscillating weight should also remain relatively still during manual winding. This is an example of what can happen when your reversers are dragging. When one reverser has more resistance than the other, it will drive the oscillating weight during manual winding. In addition to being inefficient, this is often also felt by the customer. If this function check indicates significant resistance, you will need to disassemble the mechanism and evaluate the condition of the reversers. Check for over lubrication, wear, and defects, and clean or replace any parts as necessary. Though there are many different styles of automatic winding mechanisms, this same function check can be performed on other calibers when keeping in mind the purpose is to check for the overall service quality of the reversing wheels. Thank you.